Hello students, how are you? I am your Jahir sir and welcome to the Jahir sir's math class. Today we are going to discuss think and discuss question page number 274 trigonometry. Let us see what are those think and discuss questions. Question number 1, sin x is equal to 4 by 3 does exist for some value of angle A. What it means? Sin value 4 by 3 is it correct or not? That one we are going to check. Next question, the value of sin A and cos A is always less than 1. Why? Why less than 1? We are going to discuss that one also for the reason why those are less than 1. Let us see the reason also. And third one, tan A is product of tan and A. Is it correct? Let us discuss that one by one. Okay, first one, what he said, sin x equal to 4 by 3, sin x equal to 4 by 3 does exist. That value is correct or not, that one we are going to discuss now. Now, what is first, let us see what are the, yes, now for example, A, B, C and this one is right angle. I took like this. If I take X here, then what is sin value? BC by opposite side. This one is opposite and this one is adjacent and uh, this one is the longest side means hypotenuse. Is it? What it means? AC is greater than BC and AB also. So, AC is greater than BC means this one and uh, this one is the longest side that's why AC is greater than AB. Now clear? Now I am going to write sin value here. Sin X is equal to BC by AC. What we notice here, here look at this, AC is greater than BC, means denominator is greater than numerator, denominator greater than numerator. What it means? This, this fraction is proper fraction, is it? When denominator is greater than numerator, then we said it is a proper fraction, okay? Now this one is proper fraction. proper fraction. Already we learned that what is the value of uh, proper fraction always lies between 0 and 1. Now 0 and 1. Now proper fractions means BC by AC lies between 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Okay. What it means here? This one is a proper fraction 0 and 1. But he given 4 by 3. 4 by 3 is greater than 1. Is it? 4 by 3 greater than 1. Why greater than 1? This one is improper fraction. So, if we divide it, we will get 3 ones, 3, 1 means 4 by 3 is equal to 1, 1 by 3. One. So, 4 by 3 is greater than 1, but 4 by 3 sin uh, x value is less than 1. That's why that value sin x is equal to 4 by 3 does not exist. Understood the reason? Now check second one. The value of sin a and cos a sin A and cos A always less than 1. Why? Always less than 1. Why? Already we discussed here sin X equal to BC by AC. Again, I will write here. Means A taken, that's why take A. 
साइन ए इज इक्वल टू बी सी बाय ए सी काज ए इज इक्वल टू व्हाट इज काज ए एडजेसेंट साइड बाय हाई पार्टनर सो ए बी बाय ए सी नाउ लुक एट दिस टू फ्रैक्शंस हियर आल्सो डिनोमिनेटर मींस हाई पार्टनर्स हाई पार्टनर्स इज द ग्रेटेस्ट और लॉन्गेस्ट साइड इन द ट्रायंगल दैट्स व्हाई here denominator is greater than the numerator means these two are proper fractions proper fractions that's why sin and cos lies between proper fraction always lies between 0 and 1 that's why sin and cos also always lies between 0 and 1 why that's why sin and cos always less than वन ओके साइन ए एंड काज ए आर प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन सो ऑलवेज लेस दैन वन अंडरस्टूड Now let us see third one. What is given third one? Here third one, tan a is the product of tan and a. Is it true? Tan a is not the product of tan and a. Why? Because tan a means the tan of angle a. The tan of angle a is denoted by tan a tan and a both are not separate we can write this one tan of angle a angle a tan tan value of angle a is tan a we written like this those are not separate terms that's why tan a is not the product of tan and a tan a is not the product of tan and a these are the reasons for these three questions i think you understood Please like share and subscribe thank you very much